Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. I recently made a video on cauliflower curry where I did not use any onion or garlic. And from some of the comments on that video, I understood that people would like to see a cauliflower curry using both onions and garlic. So here you go my friends. I am on an oniony garlicky cauliflower mood today. The first thing I did was to make a spice paste. In a bowl, add a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now I used 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder, but whenever it comes to any chilli powder, whether it is mild or hot, please add less than the stated proportion to start with. You can always add later, but once added it is very very difficult to take out that heat. I also added 2 teaspoons of ground coriander that is dhania powder and 4 tablespoons of water. Mix very well and your spice paste is all done. Pan out with 2 tablespoons of oil. Since I have just washed the cauliflower, it will be a splatter scene. So here is my shield to protect my camera lens from all those splatterings. Beginners, please pat dry the cauliflower very well before adding to the oil. Or you can use the lid of your pan. I added a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Fry the cauliflower on medium high heat till it gets slightly browned up. As you can see the cauliflower has now got those brown spots so I will be taking them out into a bowl. I added about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil to the pan on medium heat. Once the oil gets hot add 3 dry bay leaves, 1 dry red chilli and this is Bengali 5 spice that is panch foron. You can also use cumin seeds. But my friends, please do try out Panch Furun at least once and you will understand why I am requesting you so much because it is very very aromatic. I also added about a fourth of a teaspoon of hing that is asafoetida and onions that I have thinly sliced. I sprinkle some salt, fry the onions just for a minute and then in goes Mr. Potato. Fry the potatoes on medium high heat till it develops a slightly brown color along the edges. Once it reaches to this kind of a situation where the potatoes have taken up just a little color, I added a teaspoon of finely grated ginger and a teaspoon of finely grated garlic. And then it is spice time. So the spice paste goes in to paint up the dish. And you see all that paste sticking onto the cup? That needs to go in too, so I added little water and added all that rinsed out goodness into the pan. Next goes in a chopped tomato along with another half a teaspoon of salt. Add about a third of a cup of hot water and cover it for 2-3 to three minutes. After 2 minutes, it's time for the fried cauliflower to join the party. A teaspoon of garam masala powder goes in to perfume the dish. As everything was looking dry, I added another half a cup of hot water. Then lid on low heat for 8 minutes or until the cauliflower and potatoes turn soft. In between, I added some frozen green peas. If you are using fresh green peas, then add them along with the cauliflower. Ok, my cauliflower has turned soft. Do a taste test and adjust the seasonings. That means add more salt if you find it less. Or add more chilli powder if you feel you can handle more heat. And I added a teaspoon of sugar as I felt it needs to bring in a balance. But the sweetness is always optional. Then to add in more goodness, I added a teaspoon of my homemade ghee and chopped coriander. Serve this with rice or roti. Please click in that like button for me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.